Hello, Internet. This is Dave, and today my quick tip is reversing audio and MIDI in Ableton Live. So we're here in Ableton, and I've already imported some audio. This is Claire DeLune. I didn't pick this for any other reason other than I like doing this kind of stuff with piano music. So I Command E, cut that, delete, Command J to consolidate, and once it's done processing, I can just click on it and hit R to reverse it, and now it is reversed. If your keyboard is broken, you can also double click into the clip, and in the clip view, in previous versions, there was an actual reverse button that said reverse, or maybe REV, but you'll have to find it down here in the right-hand corner in Ableton 11, and it's these two arrows, and you just click that, and it will reverse it the same way. So now we're back to the original. You can do a similar thing to MIDI. I'm just gonna drag some MIDI in here. This is just a melody that I was working on. So you can't hit R and reverse it, but if I double click in the clip, there are a couple ways I can do this. Um, there is a reverse button here in the clip view in the notes section. Um, so if I were to, in, if you hit it, it will do this. So what I think it does is it just reverses the space and rhythm, but doesn't really keep anything else the same. So I'm going to, I'm going to undo that one way that you can do it when I, I have everything selected command a, and then I drag this handle and you can stretch time this way, but you can also just keep going and reverse it all the way. And then if I want it to stay like a similar length, I can stretch it back this way. So now that's reversed. So that's my quick tip for the day. I hope you learned something. And if you did, give the video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a lot of free content on my site and I'm going to be releasing it pretty regularly. So go check it out, agentofnoise.com. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.